Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. I'm celebrating my 44th birthday this week, so what better time to take a look back at my 10th birthday? <laughs> Today's my birthday. I have lots of things to tell you, like what I'm gonna do on my birthday, what I have on my birthday. I'd already been using my dad's tape recorder for a couple of years, so in 1980, my parents decided to give me my own tape recorder for my 10th birthday. I got some tapes. They're 30 minute tapes. And also, I'm using the batteries I got too. In school that day, I had handed out a birthday treat of peanuts to my classmates, but my fifth grade nemesis, Joey Angelelli, decided that he wanted more. I, I gave peanuts out of my, at my school. There were little bites of peanuts. Everybody wanted more. And even Joey Angelelli pushed me in the girls' bathroom so that he could have some more peanuts. Yeah. Next, I read some of my birthday cards. Happy birthday to a special cousin. Love and kisses from Jennifer and Christy. To a fine son on his birthday. Love, mom, and dad. Special birthday happiness. Granddad. Birthday wishes for you. And Hannah and Joe. So, those are my cards. Yeah, those are my cards. My cousins were going to be visiting later that evening. And I recited a list of the party games that we'd be playing. I'm going to be playing. Guess how many pages are in the party fun and games book? Oh my, it sounds like it's going to be a rager. Then we're going to play donkey party stunts. We pick one of the donkey's tails, look at the number, and look on the chart. Do whatever it says by that number. Yes, donkey party was an unfortunately named game that I had when I was a kid. When my cousins arrived, I recorded an announcement of the gifts that they had brought me. From my cousins, I got a Spider-Man web maker and a Battlestar Galactica game. I no longer have the Battlestar Galactica board game, but here's the Spider-Man web maker. It's totally dried up after 34 years. Next on the tape, we attempt to get my 10-month-old sister to say something, my cousin Brian imploring her to talk some more. Go ahead, Sheila. Say something. Talk. Let's talk. Then Brian threatens me if I attempt to record him without his knowledge. Like if you play a tape, and if I don't know to everybody, you're going to ask for it very, very good. However, it's Brian who hits record without me knowing. As bagpipes blare from the TV set, God knows what my parents were watching, I tell Brian to watch as I sneakily take a sip of my dad's beer when he's not looking. Watch out! It's my dad's beer, watch Now Brian and I begin arguing. You're a jackass. Jackass is defined as a nutty person. No, no. it's a donkey's name. Brian, if you don't stop, I'm going to tell. <laughs> but we're interrupted by the phone ringing. Let's go. Oh, the phone. Come on, Brian. Let's see who's there. Hello? Who's there? Hey, I'll just say hello. Who's it for? I just wanted to know because you are a dumb, dumb head. I'm not sure what happens next, but my mom lays down the law. Then it's back to Brian calling me a dum dum head. Oh yeah, because you were a dumb head because you didn't know how to do nothing. Wait, let me see. You take this little guy, see there's this little alien here. Oh, uh, you can call me Jack. That's Spider Man. Hey, dum dum, there's nothing for me to say, Brian. Of course, I meant that I didn't want to use up the tape, not the tape recorder. I used the tape recorder every week for almost four years until my family got a video camera in 1984. And by then, I was using this flashy 80s boombox instead. Thanks for joining me today for the look back at my 10th birthday. See you soon. Thanks, YouTube.